All right, guys, welcome back. We're diving into another Michigan beer. It's going to be from Transient Artisan Ales. This is called Recreationalism, which is a DDH India Pale Ale, clocking in at 6.3% ABV. I believe this is coming in around $13.99 for a four-pack, obviously 16-ounce cans. Standard kind of cool can art slash sticker on this can from Transient, guys. Super duper fresh because it was just dropped into distribution. There is not typically a canned on date from Transient, but that's all right. I understand that they rotate a lot. They do a lot of different things. They don't typically have that. I'm okay with it because I know this is fresh. Someone else who didn't know that may be upset, but I know that this is very fresh, guys. So I believe this is brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Michigan Chinook hops. Uh, actually, not too far down the road from where I live is where those are sourced. So um, the inside information I get talking to the reps, guys. So here we go. <clears throat> Pour Michigan beer glass. You can always DM me, message me if you want one. I'll get it to you. Let's go to a pour. So we are looking quite hazy. Wow. Um, actually didn't expect that for some reason. Not sure why. Um, wow. Very hazy from Transient. Typically, I don't get a lot of haze bombs um, all the time from them, but they do brew them. So <clears throat> golden, deep, yellow, dash of orange, peach juice. Guys, you can see it. A, a bubbly head that is dissipating a little bit on top. It's pretty creamy, but quite bubbled and um, sticky to the glass, I would say, but sliding down pretty good. I don't really need to go into detail. We've talked about so many New England styles at this point. Do we need to talk about this? Um, good carbonation streaming to the top. Let's go to an aroma. Ooh, that's an interesting blend. Wow, what? it's like, it's almost like borderline earthy spice, but lots of, Lots of like guava and, and mangoes and peaches. I get this huge guava note underneath, wow. But it's like earthy, um, earthy juiciness, if that's a thing. Like it smells like it has like dirt in it, but it's really vibrant and bright. Um, you've got a little bit of the citrus, you've got a lot of stone fruit going on here, and then you've got this tropical thing on the back end, but it smells like it could be dry at the same time with immense amounts of juiciness. That's it. That's it's just really interesting. Like again, the best I can describe it is like it's it's fruity, but it feels like it has dirt thrown in it, like that earthy soil kind of vibe. Tons of guava though. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's really weird. Um, rec recreationalism, guys. Transient. Let's check it out. Cheers. Whoa, whoa. The Chinook is a nice accent to these hops. Like you see Citra and Mosaic all the time, but that Chinook's adding like this earthy, soily pininess to this beer that I'm getting on the nose. But the Mosaic, it, it's adding also like this dank factor that's in there. So it's like it's got this berry dankness um, married to guava. It's it's really strange. Like I, I don't see these um, hops kind of culminated together like this. This is different. Um, again, Citra Mosaic, yes, but that Chinook's putting like a strange accent on the back end. Not that it's bad, it's just different, which I like different because we get sick of the same old stuff. Pretty watery mouthfeel uh, for being this New England look to it. Um, it's pretty crushable though, 6.3%. Again, that earthy, piney, soily bitterness on the back end, evening out this like, I would say like lemon, grapefruit, uh, a little bit of like peach and cantaloupe, and then this big note of guava that I'm getting um, kind of all put together and then does round out really nice on the back end with the Chinook there coming in strong. Uh, touch of dankness though. It, it's got the dank from the mosaic. Um, it's, it's really solid. It's different. It's just really different. More cantaloupe, um, very juicy cantaloupe coming through. Um, grapefruit and clementines definitely playing a role as well. But again, I think this like nice guava, uh, earthy dankness is really sticking out the most from when I when I think of this beer. But there are a lot of, and a lot of other things going on in here also. So um, that's just what I'm picking up the most of. I think this is a nice, solid beer at 6.3%. Very crushable, very clean, um, while delivering a lot of different factors from those hot profiles there. It's good. Um, let's go for a rating here. Wow. 
Very crushable. Very light. Um, not creamy, but just very nice and light. Kind of a watery mouthfeel. Um, wow. It's good, though. It, it reminds me it's still an IPA on that back end. I like that. I'm going to go... Three eight seven out of five. I, I I just I like it. I think it could be a dash better, obviously, but I think three eight seven for being a six point three New England kind of hybrid here. It's good, guys. I really like this. So yeah, recreationalism from Transient. It is what it is. I'm Dan. I'll catch you on the next review. Cheers.